Adam Abdul-Jabbar, 29, was sentenced this week after pleading guilty to three counts of assault with a deadly weapon and one count of carrying a dirk or dagger, with sentencing enhancements for inflicting great bodily injury, according to the Orange County District Attorney's Office. Abdul-Jabbar accepted a plea deal from an Orange County judge. The sentence was stayed until January 7, 2022 so that Abdul-Jabbar can apply for home confinement instead of incarceration, the DA's office said. Probation officials will decide whether he will be permitted home confinement, prosecutors had sought a seven-year jail sentence and objected to the plea offered. Abdul-Jabbar and his San Clemente neighbor, Raymond Windsor, share a driveway. Abdul-Jabbar stabbed the 60-year-old neighbor several times on June 9, 2020, after the man confronted him about failing to take in trash cans for Abdul-Jabbar's elderly roommate, prosecutors said. The 60-year-old was stabbed in the back of the head, suffering a fractured skull and nearly died of blood loss after collapsing outside of the emergency room, prosecutors said this slap on the wrist is an absolute miscarriage of justice, District Attorney Todd Spitzer said in a statement after the sentencing. This man nearly bled to death in front of the emergency room doors after being stabbed so violently over and over that his skull was fractured. The Orange County District Attorney's Office vehemently objected to this court offer of six months, which could potentially be served as home confinement, because we believe the complete disregard for human life over a dispute over trash cans is so egregious it warranted prison time. The victim in this case has not only suffered serious physical issues, he is suffering from the trauma of having to relive this violent attack every day he walks out into his front yard. This is nothing short of appalling. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.